Hey, what is up guys? So today I want to talk about double trap hole aka sneaky trap hole as it's known in the OCG. The OCG does have better artwork but we're here for the effect because I think it's been a while since we've gotten a, a trap card that a lot of decks can actually use. But anyways, let's go and check it out. So it's a normal trap card coming out in Secrets of Eternity that says when your opponent special summons a monster or monsters in defense position, banish that defense position monster or monster. So that's really cool. If you're going to go ahead and pendulum summon a bunch of cards in a sense that that can be activated just like bottomless trap pull. Granted, they have to be in defense position, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what this could actually hit as far as the game goes. So we already know the ultimate Soken deck is actually getting a little bit more popular on Death Pro, uh, especially with Scrap Iron. There's another scrap card coming out uh, that you can flip flop every turn to destroy face up cards. And I think this could definitely be used in a lot of different decks. Uh, uh, it can technically counter Horex because a lot of times they will be special summoning that uh, monster in defense position. Now, with the addition of this card, maybe people will be summoning it in attack position. But, um, yeah, I think that that is um, pretty cool that uh, we have access to getting rid of, you know, anything that, you know, special summons in defense position. Uh, this one is obviously an option, so they can kind of play around it. But uh, maybe if you can max see them after, they'll just stop their play and you can, you know, attack that 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, next up, I was thinking any synchro based deck, we are getting some jet synchrons, some new support for the uh, junk archetype, and I think this could definitely be used against them. A lot of their support really comes through from junk synchron, and if you're going to be banishing that defense position monster, obviously you're going to disrupt their play, and also disrupt their plays in the future. As far as what the meta looks like right now, I mean, you can definitely hit Burning Abyss. Pretty much everything they special summon before uh, going for Dante or Virgil it is more than likely going to be in defense position. So you can banish that, and then I think that is pretty cool that it banishes multiple monsters. Monsters. Although, the one problem I have with this is it doesn't banish like the multiple uh, Burning Abysses. And thus, of course, are activating some random card that special summons a bunch of them. Maybe if they soul charge or something like that, you can definitely make use of it in that scenario also. But uh, for the most part, I mean, it's like a one for one, but tactically, banishing a Burning Abyss card definitely can put you in advantage, especially if they need that one Skarm. I would say Skarm certainly is one that can definitely uh, help the deck out more than anything. Uh, because it searches out, you know, my level 3 Dark Fiend. Oh, hey, search to regard. Um, but uh, I feel like if you can hit a Scar, maybe you can win a game from that. Um, and I was thinking with Shadal's, not really anything that you can hit that is too powerful that just comes out. Uh, maybe the Windingo, which is the new uh, Shadal monster coming out uh, into the game, also from Secrets of Eternity. So you can hit the Shadal's as well. Uh, obviously, Klee's, uh, more likely they'll be in attack position, so you can't really make use of that. Um, and also with the uh, Ritual Beast or the Spirit Beast, if you guys have seen that deck, uh, they like to spell some in defense position also. So it can definitely counter uh, a few different decks. And uh, not that too many people play Satellar Knights, but... Uh, because of uh, the all sham a lot of people have been actually uh, messing around with that card just because it can burn people to death and uh, yeah with the Satana Knight special summons the uh, monster in defense position so you can kind of counter that as well so I thought this was a pretty awesome card the sneaky trap hole uh, it's gonna be called double trap hole in the uh, TCG I like how they replaced it with a piece of meat I kind of like the OCG artwork which is the uh, sexy goblin girl but it was too hot for us I guess like it's a doll but anyways you know sometimes they like to change the artwork for like Pretty much no reason. But anyways, I think this card has a lot of potential. But guys, let me know what decks would you main deck this in? Or is this more of a side deck card for you? Personally, for me, I see it more of a side deck card. But I think that it can definitely counter a lot of stuff because banishing cards is always strong in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But, um, I mean, as far as the meta goes, I would say Burning Abyss is kind of the only thing that you can really hit to actually hurt. I'm not sure how popular the Windingo will be, but I mean, even special summoning like the Falco or something like that, I don't just see this card being too strong because it's not going to hit those multiple cards. And I'm thinking perhaps in a Pendulum deck, maybe if they special summon everything in defense position. But at the moment, I don't know of a Pendulum deck that really only special summons in defense position. But let me know, guys, what are your thoughts uh, on this card? I think this is definitely a great card. It looks like it's not going to be a secret rare. It might be just a common card. I think it's got a little bit of potential, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. Asianized, signing out.